during high school, just uh, developed this really bad case of anxiety. It just kind of came out of nowhere. You know, I used to be a pretty adventurous kid. I had no trouble going places, you know, meeting new people, you know, enjoying, I guess, just the natural rhythms of life. But it, when it came, it, it was debilitating and it was usually triggered by, you know, meeting new people. Um, and it got so bad that usually by the time, you know, nightfall rolled around, I, I had to be indoors. And when everyone else was, uh, you know, off and, and doing their things and, and um, you know, having the high school experience, I was, uh, I tended to be home, just, you know, alone by myself in my room. Coming out of high school, I was introduced to a um, lovely girl. She ended up becoming my girlfriend. And, and things went really well, you know, um, a little too fast. <laughs> we uh, just, you know, the summer after our graduation, we, we had, you know, we've moved in together, and we're sleeping together. Um, and I had, you know, a good sense of security with her. Kind of gave me a certain kind of drive that allowed me to, you know, forget about what I was, what I was so anxious about. Where things got difficult, was um, when I had failed just my first try at college. I didn't make it through the first week, just suffering from anxiety. Um, but uh, at about that time, too, um, we had found out that she'd become pregnant. And throughout all that confusion, um, everything was school, everything you know that was going on, just a few weeks later, she had had an abortion. I can only describe the feeling of something like that as, uh, you know, losing, losing a limb, right? Like the, the shock of everything, it, it numbs the pain at first and you don't really realize the implications of what happened, but over time, as it sat and, and I really realized, you know, what had happened. There was a period of time, you know, after that where I had to really just sit down and take account into my life. Okay, what am I going to do? You know, this has happened. I can't go to school. I just, I have this anxiety. Um, I'd always, just as a child, had the, just the dream of being a business owner. And, and I don't know what it was, but I was like, you know, what the heck, I'll, I'll start a business. I started a uh, membership kind of focused uh, direct farm marketing uh, business. We were getting front page news, um, you know, memberships were rolling in and the business was successful, but business took over and after a while, you know, the relationship deteriorated. We were working too much, um, not paying enough attention to each other and ultimately it ended up costing the relationship. You know, one day, I was just getting started, you know, getting my day ready, and uh, you know, I get a call, and oh, I can't come in today. Well, why is that? Well, you know, I uh, I don't love you anymore. I you know I cheated on you last night, and and just in that, everything changed. You know, when when God blessed me with this business, He didn't do it to make me this successful person to to you know, give me money to, to do any of that. He set these things in place you know, so that they would actually break me, bring me to the end of myself. Just by chance, my brother came, came by the house and uh, he was just meeting up with, with Pastor Josh um, that day and he's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go talk to him and uh, you wanna come along? And I mean, I was, you know, doing my typical routine of spending the day in bed. Anyways, I just, you know, what the heck, why not? Um, you know, I wasn't doing anything, the season was over, and I just kind of decided to spend the day out of the house. And, uh, you know, we met up with them, he was just kind of sitting on his laptop. You know, they, my brother and him had their conversation, and I was just kind of sitting quietly off to the side. I was just 
I was a mess, like I was in my sweatpants, like it smelled like body odor, I was, I was depressed. But uh, you know, he says, hey, you, you're, we're doing this thing across the street, it was a Sunday night, and um, she wanted to come check it out. And uh, you know, I, I wasn't ready, I was like, I don't want to go, like what the heck did you, you bring me to? Like, this isn't good. But as I walk through the doors, and, and uh, kind of, you know, looked around. I can pinpoint, actually, the moment where Christ came to me. And, and uh, when he did, I knew, you know, when he comes, you just know that you know that you know in your heart that it was him. And, and he was pulling me out of it, you know. I had nothing. I was a clean slate. I was a broken man. And, and he brought me to this venue, to these people. And I was somebody who had no business being there. Not after what I'd done. Um, not after who I'd been. Not, not any. I had no place being there, but he said I did. You know, and he brought me back to life. My anxiety, it's it's gone. There, there's no other way to say it. it after, after that, it, it disappeared. And I could live again. I could go out. I could be with everyone. I just, um, but ultimately, he forgave me for everything that happened when I couldn't forgive myself.